Uh, what is up YouTube? Lou Boyer coming to you from Narita in Japan. Uh, I got in late last night. I just woke up. I'm sort of a mess, but uh, I'm hungry. There's no food here because of the virus. I think there's room service, but uh, I might pass on that. And lucky for me, my wife packed some SpaghettiOs with meatballs, it seems. Anyway, I think that's a tea maker or a coffee maker. I'm going to see if I can't cook my SpaghettiOs in that. Things we do, huh? That was actually pretty good. I'm gonna throw some jeans on real quick and then let's go find some snakes. All right, out of the hotel. Um, I want to show you something here. Hold on. All right, so these cherry trees here, if you watched my video about a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago when I was here in Japan last, these things were in full bloom. I mean, these trees were fully white. They were beautiful. And in just a week now, there's hardly a flower left. Anyway, it's a sign of spring. Another sign of spring are butterflies. And this butterfly right here, I've never seen this in this area. In fact, I've never seen it. Maybe I've seen one in Singapore, but I'm not sure if it was the same. But check out the blue on that. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. And here is another species of butterfly I've never seen. It's interesting. I've been coming to Narita here in Japan in the Tokyo area for, I don't know, a long time, 20 years. And, you know, today I've seen two species of butterflies I've never seen. Anyway, all right, let's go find some snakes. All right, so if you saw my video last week, um, this board here had been blown by the wind kind of over there, and I put it back where it belongs. <laughs> Will I be rewarded a week later? Be awesome if I was. But no, nothing. All right. Too wet. I moved this rock here a while ago. This thing weighs a ton, actually, so I might have to put the camera down to flip it. It's going to probably be too wet anyhow, but I'll still take a look. All right, so here's what's under it. I couldn't video lifting it. It's just too heavy. Looks promising. Nothing yet, but I have, uh, I have a good feeling for this rock here later this year. And speaking of rocks, there are a few other loose rocks around this area. And, you know, it's possible to find a snake under these. Yeah, that looks good, but nothing. All right, so last time I was here, this piece right here had that uh, forest of burrowing rat snake. Will we be back a week later? Let's take a look. Come on. Nope, not today. Bummer. Nope, nothing. This area was flooded with water last time. You can see it's dried out for the most part. All right, come on, give me a snake. Nope. Oh yeah, did you see that right there? It's another tiger keelback. I found one in my last video. I'm gonna try and grab him, hold on. All right, so here we go guys, I got him out. Uh, tiger keelback snake, venomous snake, as well as a poisonous snake, and once he calms down, I'll get some better video. So he's kind of sitting still right now. I'm zoomed in from a couple meters away, and he sort of put his neck out which again is his defense. He does excrete a poisonous toxin on the back of his neck. 
So, you know, the predator will go for that and bite his neck and get poisoned. This snake doesn't want to bite you. It just wants to escape. And the sun's starting to come out a little, which is nice. <laughs> you can see him breathing here. All right, so he knows I'm behind him now, and he's really flared up the neck. And I don't know how well it's going to show up here. See how it's kind of flattened out, kind of cobra-like? And that's where he secretes the uh, poison right up on top of his neck there. So here's a shot from directly above him. And it's the best I can show how well he spread out his neck here. And that's when you can really see the red. That's my knee. There he goes. So I'm going to let this guy head back to where I found him. He's already worked his way over here to where he was. And I'll put the board back, but he'll probably go all the way underneath and up into the rock pile behind it. All right, so super stoked right now. Uh, another Tiger Keelback. Um, got some good video, I think. Uh, maybe more or less from one angle. I don't know. We'll see how I can edit that together. But um, yeah, really cool snakes. It took me a couple of years to find uh, one to video, and that was last week, and now I found another one. So uh, I did already look at the rest of the stuff here, and I couldn't find anything else. So just one snake for this video, guys. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to, and uh, we'll see you. All right, so there's a dragonfly here. Let's see if he lands. There he is. So check that out. I see these guys this time of year. These dragonflies are huge. And they got these cool green eyes. Anyway, they rarely land. So this is a treat seeing one right here.